hello fam welcome back to j training is jupiter i am back with another video uh, it is currently 5 a.m right now i'm in addis ababa and i just woke up to my trades popping up i took i took new trades yesterday if you remember the video i did earlier it was around 1400 uh, dollars and i took the profit right after the video and yesterday i took new trades boom 1000 boom 500 crash 1000 and uh yeah crash 1000 crash 300 and crash 500 so all of these trades they are popping except boom 1000 it looks like boom 1000 is on red but all the others are on blue so we are currently on for how much 751 dollars profit so that's a great deal for us uh, as we are coming back yeah as we discussed earlier we are coming back we are getting back on track uh, currently there there will be no signal no telegram service i'll just be sharing analysis on youtube like this every day uh, for a while i'm just here to help you guys but i cannot do signals right now but soon i'll start that one also so now let's go to the trade let's start from boom 1000 boom 1000 is actually on rate last time if you remember we have talked about three golden rules about uh liquidity rules so uh if you remember last time i took a trade here i took a trade here sell and i took a profit around there Again, I took another sale trade here, but currently it's on a negative. But I'm sure I uh, will be in profit soon, most probably. Yeah, because last time we have discussed about three golden rules. We have uh, three basic rules that we have to follow. The first rule is liquidity sweep. You have to wait for the market to move to the area where traders uh, put stop loss and take profit that area is a liquidity area you have to always wait for the market to move to that area the second one is you have to wait for the price to break structure a structure getting broken means uh, when price reaches to liquidity area there will be a decision change always in the market there will be decision change traders will be making a lot of decisions either buy or sell so there will be movement around that area so when the market was uh let's say the market was moving up but as soon as it reached to the liquidity area uh, the price starts to drop and break the structure or break the trend that's called structure break and the third one is you have to wait for retest after the price breaks the structure what you have to do is wait for the price to come back to the area where it broke the structure or where there is an important resistance or uh, support area when the price with this that area that's where you take a trade so after that what you have to do is always manage your account put your stop loss and take profit unless you're sure if you're so sure about that if you're so sure about the trade maybe you can wait and see without putting stop loss and take profit but unless you have to always put stop loss and take profit and the management that you have to follow is always risk no more than three percent risk either one percent two percent or three percent of what you have in your account that would be your stop loss and the take profit will be two or three times your stop loss if you're risking three percent you will be targeting minimum five uh sorry minimum six percent or nine percent that means your account will grow no matter how many times you lose you'll be making sometimes right let's say you lose three times and you gain three times even though the the number of loss and uh profit is equal you will be in profit nate you will be in profit because you are following a risk to ratio uh a risk to uh award risk to reward ratio of uh one ratio two that means whenever you are risking one you're targeting two so if you lose three times and gain three times that would be uh, a net profit so always you have to target at least 
two times your stop loss that's it so the last one is you have to always take profit don't forget to take profit always on the way up or down take some profit secure your bag that's what you have to follow so right now my boom 1000 trade is uh, negative i took a trade here on a retest at this area this area as we have discussed it's a liquidity sweep area where the market makers sweep all the stop losses and take profits all the traders who bought at this area will be taking profit at this level because we have three equal levels here so this area is very important most traders will be putting the stop loss just above this area so what market does is go up there sweep up all the stop losses and the traders taking profit here will uh, create a lot of momentum or change in the direction of the market so the market started going down and it broke the structure here the market was going up here right so the bullish trend was broken at this area let me put this as a trend line this will be our trend line let me arrange this a little bit yeah our trend line will be like this let's go to one hour time frame always remember to start from higher time frame okay so as you can see market uh, bounced here price touched the trend line again trend line again but at this level price broke the line that means the structure was broken this is what we call structure okay this area is a liquidity area where there are a lot of stop losses and take profits market makers will sweep all the uh, stop losses here then what happens is price came here broke the trend line that's called structure so the structure was broken here so that means we are sure because the area is a liquidity area and the structure is broken so all you have to do is wait for the market to come back and retest the area where you saw structure get, uh, getting broken let me grab a box here so as you can see this area is the area where structure was broken right so that means whenever the price comes back to this area you can take a trade over there you can take a trade over there you see here the price came back and went down again it came back to this area is going down right now so what i'm expecting right now is for the price to bounce down the uh to bounce down from this box area yeah like this so probably i'll i'll be taking profit out this area maybe let me put my you know take profit at this level yeah so this is boom 1000 now let's go to crush 1000 crush 1000 is absolutely killing it we took a trade right on the spot after market broke out of this box area at this area price was consolidating up and down so what uh, what i anticipated was as you can see price was coming down from this area with a big momentum right it took a little bit of breath here then again there was a consolidation at this box area so what i anticipated was the market was moving down it is uh, obviously in a bearish uh, momentum right it is going down but as soon as it started taking break here that means either traders are uh, uh, going to change their decision maybe pull the market up or continue on the uh, on the previous market bias so the market was on a bearish trend so immediately when the market broke out of this box area that's when you get in because the price was going down with a big momentum after a consolidation and a breakout of that consolidation that means price continues to move down so there was uh, a retest here if you zoom in you can see a retest over this area you see this this was a retest price broke out of the box came back to the box and retested it at this area you see then it continued going down yeah that's actually it's a simple uh, scenario you can do this by yourself anybody can guess this there is nothing uh, a big deal here the other one is boom 500 boom 500 last time i i have analyzed this 
two times i guess in the last previous two two videos we have seen Maki broke out of this pitchfork and came back down to the the bottom area where there was a triple bottom so i took a trade there last time and still now i'm keeping it so i was planning to take a profit over this area but i missed it right i didn't put take profit so i missed this area price came back down a little bit uh, it, it seems like it's just a pullback so i'm waiting for the market to come back to the previous area where i plan to take take profit over there so that's what i'm waiting for right now i'm waiting for the price to come back to this area as you can see it is an important level all right this level is very important because price got rejected here again rejected here so when third time it comes here i might be waiting for the after i took take profit here i might be waiting for the price to go up a little bit sweep all the stop losses at this area all right there will be a lot of stop losses here because people will be anticipating okay market got reversed here twice so that means just above this we have to put stop loss that's what we do right but what you have to anticipate is market makers will be sweeping up all the stop losses yeah for sure the market will go down all right the market will react from this area and go down but are you sure it's going to reverse from this level for sure not because there will be stop losses just above this box so price will kill all the stop losses at this area and create a structure break it and go down so what you have to do is wait for the market to go up a little bit all right create a structure over there like this when it comes back down and breaks the structure that's where uh, you take a trade wait for the price to come back and we test the structure and sell at that level so what i'm anticipating right now is maybe something like this we come back to the structure area where we test it and go down like this something like this yeah this is boom 500 and the, the other one is crush 300 but crush 500 is on a negative but i don't think there is any movement right now it is from last time if you remember yeah there is no movement it is still consolidating the other one is crush 300 crush 300 it is absolutely in, in a beast mode all right we are killing it it is up to absolutely in a beast mode let me remove all this and let's go to four hour time frame if you remember last time crush 300 i was on a sale i saw that this level i guess this area and took profit here then waited for the market to break a structure what i did was look if you draw a trend line like this the market uh, the price is still now below the the trend right but if you go to one hour time frame all right and see here we have another smaller trend at this level this can be a structure you can call this a structure so what i did was wait for the market to break out of this trend because look if you go to four hour time frame you can see that the market has been going down like since forever like this so whenever you see a momentum change right whenever you see a momentum change especially a break out of trend line like this that's where you take advantage i was actually planning to take profit like just after the the market goes up above my entry level because i was not sure that this market movement would be like a huge movement but right now it looks like the momentum is huge i think the market might go up to this area like this so my take profit is at this level because because it is an important level but uh my plan wasn't like this my plan was to take a profit just after like you know my entry like a scope so that's what i did i waited for the market to break out of this trend i wanted to scope a little bit maybe like to this area right that's why i put my stop loss there if the market comes back down still i'll be in profit right 
so the fortunately the market is going up the momentum is good there might be a pullback like this right but through time it might reach to this area this area right here so i'm targeting that level uh, it is midnight right now no early morning right now so i'm not active i'm not in a mood to make you know good video but it is 15 minutes long right now so i think it's enough i'll come back with another video maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow since it is weekend but uh, yeah if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing otherwise like the video and i'll see you guys in the next coming videos see you